Next, I'd like to uh, discuss what happens when we have a charged object, such as uh, this charged rubber rod, which we've decided is negatively charged, has extra electrons on it when rubbed with fur. So we have a negatively charged object, and we have a little neutral object, a little piece of uh, puffed rice here. Now, when the negative charge gets close to this neutral object, the neutral object, of course, is made up of positive and negative charge, charges, as are all atoms. And this consists of positive and negative charges. And what happens is that this negatively charged rod will force a redistribution of the charges on this in such a way that there will be net attraction. So we can have a charged object attract a neutral object by redistributing the electrons on that neutral object. Let me demonstrate that. We see that the charged rod attracts the neutral pieces of puffed wheat. And uh, this is what electrostatic clinging is all about. Charged objects attracting neutral objects. Now, I can also uh, do this with little pieces of paper here. Anything with a large surface area and a relatively small volume, large surface to volume ratio, so that the gravitational forces are dominated by the electrical forces, and we can have charged objects attract neutral objects. Another demonstration of that would be these little uh, packing peanuts. I'm going to rub this on my shirt. I'll put a charge on it and put an opposite charge on my shirt. And I uh, won't even bother to figure out what kind of charge it is, but uh, let's demonstrate that it's charged because it can attract my neutral hand here. And it sticks to my hand as we see. My hand attracts it. It attracts my hand as that charged object causes a redistribution of the electrons and the atoms in my hand. Another demonstration of that is with a piece of styrofoam here. This is very light, small mass, but it has a relatively large surface area. I'm going to show that uh, if I try to put it on the chalkboard and have it hold there without a charge, that it just falls off. But if I rub it with almost anything, I'll take this fur and rub the styrofoam, then uh, I will have a, the surface will be charged, and that will then attract the neutral chalkboard as we discussed, a charged object can attract a neutral object by a redistribution of the electrons. And we now see there's enough charge on that to uh, cling to the chalkboard. So it attracts the chalkboard and the chalkboard attracts it, indicating that a charged object can attract a neutral object. 